art imitating life, finding new places to visit, new journeys to travel through music, song, dance, scripting, a way to tell a story and make it come to life. You need to challenge them. Challenge the orchestra, challenge the designers, and challenge the actors. And we, as a performing arts department, grow closer, stronger, and more professional each time we put on a show. By far the most difficult show we have ever done to date. We are bringing you the best of the best. Join us, and if you've never seen Sweeney Todd on stage, you're in for a treat. After having um, an incredibly successful year with Les Miserables that was challenging and daunting at times with uh, difficult vocals, difficult sets, when you have actors who are continually growing and getting better, you need to challenge them. Challenge the orchestra, challenge the designers, and challenge the actors. Sweeney Todd offered, first of all, an opportunity for the ensemble to sing in a whole new way, a five or six part harmony. Somewhat, we'll try to piece the men in between. Yeah. 
you down the camp rolling rings that are over here with the set. Two freestanding rolling staircases. Well, you will let you know if you're in the Okay, so you're going to have to keep that in mind. Right. Because that's going to be no, I'm going to hope by, by the end of the vacation that the scaffolding is here. Wait, wait, this is the only day we're working until we come back. There was no sense renting the scaffolding starting now. Okay. But we can use these. So we can one should go in the Picking Sweeney Todd was a show, first of all, it's a show I've always liked to do because I think it's challenging. Stephen Sondheim writes complex book, writes complex music, complex characters, and it has always been a show that has um, intrigued me and given me interest. It deals with trick chairs, bleeding knives, um, and a moral story, a story about when justice is served to those who hold high position. We take innocent victims, which in many cases, um, most of the times, are, are, our innocents are always given the opportunity to rise above, and in this story they do. Second Street, Streetcar Name Desire, Lay Miss, Frankenstein, and Annie. That's a very full cool five years old say. Getting me, look, I'm see this is coffee. This is what we need. This sustains us. Okay. We're gonna put split them up on five by five, hanging on, on either of those sides in the alcoves. Alcoves right here. So this is gonna be all standing. Yeah, but remember the boys are standing, so they can't they can't they have to be here. So they have to be kind of out here. And then maybe and we can look. Actually, Miss Christine. Um, okay, you're there? So let's fill this space right here. I'm taking these sopranos here. Now, this is a bigger space because we don't have the building, but I, I think it's about the same. All right. Here.
it's frightening. It's from here up. You just stepped on something. How intimidating must it feel when pre-production doesn't go smoothly? Do you realize two weeks from now we open? We are not in a good place. <laughs> it's nerve-wracking, definitely intimidating, and oftentimes daunting. But like all Thanksgiving dinners, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of preparation in the kitchen, a lot of mishaps in the kitchen, but when all is said and done, with that, when that beautiful turkey comes out, everybody breathes in, smiles, and enjoys it. And that's what's the exciting part. It's the process to the product. All the laughs we have, all the mishaps we have, and more importantly, the bow at the end.